this is the first time I'm using FSD 13.2.2.1. Very weird number. But as you can see, the car could just easily go straight, have some more space to make this U-turn, three-point turn, or even like so many turns. But the car decided to do it here while there is other cars on our left side part. And the car did it so smoothly that it blows me away. So let's watch it together and let me tell you, FSD 13 is so good. And I never experienced something like this. Hey everyone, we are back and again, finally my cousin came in as I told you my, in my last video and I could able to drive FSD 13. And I'm very excited. My name is Inado Mohamed and I love to film Tesla full self-driving videos. And I live in New York. So we're gonna test how Tesla FSD drives in New York. It is kind of raining today and we're gonna see how FSD handled this situation where hardware three vehicle failed in some situation. So we're going and I can definitely say that the car seems very smooth when making right turn, left turn. And as you can see, the car is already changing the lane, move to the left side because we need to stay in the left lane because we are gonna, uh, we're gonna stay there and uh, we're gonna test uh, and we have to change another um, left side to march on that upcoming stop sign. And sometimes in hardware three vehicle, it cannot handle that navigation. And also sometimes it completely blew that uh, stop sign and almost hit a school bus at one time. So we're gonna see how the car definitely hardware four or AI four vehicle with FSD 13.2.2 to handle this situation so uh, the stop sign is coming and we need to change another lane and uh, we're gonna see how the car handles you see that red car and it is already changing the lane you see very perfectly done and very smooth too my car changed lane from here right over here like oh I have to change the lane and it did some weird stuff so we stop here we're gonna look on the opposite side. There is no other vehicle. We can proceed. Very good job. They're very smooth. Like you can feel that. Like, I, I, like I drive a Model Y performance 2022 hardware three vehicle, and my car hesitate a lot. But this version, especially hardware four with FSD 13, the car is very smooth. So. We're gonna make a left turn and then we're gonna test that narrow road. Last time with AI4 vehicle also the car got stuck. So we're gonna see how the car handles. So I'm gonna take over, fix the GPS and then we're gonna see how the car does things here. So let's do it guys. So I engage it one more time. Our car should proceed and the car is proceeding and we are going and the car is giving a space to that opposite side car very good very slow and cautious very nicely done so right now we're gonna make a left turn in this narrow road as you can see that and the car doesn't seem hesitating at all if you saw my car performance oh my goodness you can feel that I will I'll put my previous videos footage where the steering wheel do left right left right and you saw this one right it seems like night and day like oh my goodness it's I really and badly want to get this car, but unfortunately my financial situation is not right right now, guys. So I cannot do it, but uh, I'm very impressed. I'm very thankful to my cousin. He came all the way from Queens to Long Island just to give me access to his car so that I can make this video. So thanks to Taj that no he Anytime, really Anytime helped me. Anytime you need the car, you can have it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So we're gonna do one more time because all, all like in my all videos, I always do two times. So I just wanna do it two times here too so that we can see how the car handles this one more time. So I'm gonna engage it one more time. As you can see that, and we are going very good. And we're gonna see that if you will also notice that the steering wheel doesn't even nag. It will not do left and right. It knows what to do. It knows how to do. Like you see the like confident. It just it just do it. And with raining and the cloudy situation, also the road is not clear, water and all those things. So it's amazing. It's like night and day difference between hardware three and hardware four. So we're gonna make a left and we're gonna do some unprotected left turn and we're gonna see how the car handles this unprotected left. So let's do it, guys. 
Also, guys, if you want to grab my FSD beta bumper magnet from our uh, website, that is iamanado.com, you can grab our FSD beta bumper magnet and stick to your Tesla so that other people know your car drives by itself. So this is a brand new road. If you see the navigation, it is completely showing to merge from right side, but you see the tar car turns on the indicator, but it's a brand new road, so the car doesn't have that much data, but it is going. You see, it is trying to say right turn, but it shouldn't make a right turn here. It is a dead end. So I'm gonna take over. That's a mistake. Hardware three car handles this perfectly. There is no road here. If you see this, there is no road. So it was trying to make a right turn here because the navigation is saying from there, but this is a brand new road and the car should have just go straight and stop on this stop sign and go from here but definitely this is a mistake so i i and disengage it i took over so i just want to put it out there hardware three vehicle do it without any issues but hardware four with hardware fsd 13.2.2 the car definitely has some hard time. So now we're gonna do that unprotected left turn. So let's do it, guys. Are you a Tesla FSD beta tester? Stop scrolling. The FSD beta bumper magnet is a must have. This sleek durable magnet clearly signals that your Tesla is in self-driving mode. It's easy to apply, easy to remove, and the perfect accessories for embracing the future of autonomous driving. Don't miss out, grab yours on Amazon today. So yeah, so let's do the unprotected left turn. As you can see, this is a tricky unprotected left because you need to go straight. Look on your left side. If there is no traffic from left, we're gonna go straight, make a right turn and immediately make a U-turn. But hardware three vehicles sometimes do it. Sometimes it goes to the next block, which I don't like. I'm not saying it's wrong to do, but still you should just go straight and make a U-turn from there. So we're gonna stop here. And I also just wanna mention that the car came in this road very slowly, like very cautiously. So it is going, there is no vehicle and it is immediately went to the next block. It should have just go to this route. So I'm gonna take over because there is a vehicle from our left side and I just wanna take over. So I'm gonna count this as a fail because I would definitely prefer if the car come in this left turn lane right over here and then make a U-turn from here. So it needs that block. It came to the next one and there is a vehicle behind us. So we don't have a space to stand there, right? So I took over. So these are the things sometimes the car gets, you know, confused, I guess, because it doesn't know what to do. It, it thinks like, okay, the GPS is saying from the next block, but it could definitely do from that first block. So let's do it one more time, guys. Okay, so unprotected left number two in New York. And uh, let's see, the first time the car definitely makes mistake. It should have just go straight, make a right turn, make a U-turn from the first block. And it's still, the car is hugging the right side a little bit as far as I noticed that. The car was little, you know, like, like continuing with the right side a little bit more where there are like parked car on our right side. It could just easily move to the left side a little bit. So there are vehicle coming from our left side, so we shouldn't proceed. And then after this car, we should proceed. Very good. And immediately makes this right turn, which I don't like. It should just, now we can wait here, but there are vehicle coming from our backside. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take over. What I'm saying, you cannot just stand there. The rule says if there is no space, you cannot stand there or you just come like this, you stand here how I did it as a human being. So FSD should just come here, stop there and make a U-turn. But you cannot just block the whole road where there is traffic from behind us. So this is what I don't like. So let's do it one more time. This will be our last time. Also, if you guys are new in this channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because this will be very helpful so that I can make this kind of content more and more. So let's do it one more time, guys. So I just changed the mood from, um, it's probably it was, um, what mood was that? Hurry. Hurry, and now we changed to a standard because my cousin was saying, if you're choosing like hurry, it will do like, okay, I have to go fast. So that's why I changed to a standard. Let's find out how the car handles this unprotected left in standard mode. So let's do it, guys. I'm gonna engage it right now, and I engage it one more time. Hardware th a four vehicle, FSD 13.2.2. And we're gonna do it. Let's see how the car handles. So we are moving, we are going. So uh, we're gonna stop on this upcoming stop sign and then we're gonna look on our left side. If there is no other vehicle, we're gonna creep 
and then make a right turn and immediately make a U-turn. So let's see how the car handles. So there is no, okay, there is vehicle. You see that nice braking there? Hardware 3 will be like, oh, brake. And you see, again, same mistake. There is a white car coming. You could just stop there. But this time I will allow the car to do the U-turn because because there is something that the car will do it perfectly because there is no traffic from behind us and there is also no traffic from our backside. So I'm just gonna take over. So what I'm gonna do, because this version has a unique feature that is backing out, I'm gonna go and engage the car on a dead end and we'll see how the car handles that dead end situation. Also guys, one more time, if you guys are like new in this channel watching this content for the first time please hit that subscribe button so we're gonna make a right turn this is a dead end road and we're gonna find out how the car handles this dead end and then we're gonna end this video so let's do it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go all the way and then engage it from a parking position so I'm gonna see if I'm behind that white car how the car handles this situation so I'm gonna do it right now and I'm gonna engage it so Let's see how the car, I'm gonna just go here and I'm gonna see if I engage it, what the car does. So I engage it in a standard mode. The car is thinking, it is not going. It is still thinking. Should I press the acceleration a little bit? I press that acceleration, it is going straight. Okay. Does this software has that feature? It should be. 12.2.1.2, let's see autopilot. Full self driving, as a display, really absolute. Okay, interesting. So let me just go backward a little bit, guys. I just want to see like why the car is not even moving. So and press, and then I'm going to engage it one more time. Be attentive. It is stuck here still now. Why? Yes, now it is thinking, and now, okay, 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 okay. It get it, Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, I see it right here. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> because I got nervous. I got like it's gonna hit that car, so it's my cousin's car, so I don't wanna take any risk. So I just took over. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and engage it right now. Let's find out how the car handles. Okay. So I engage it and it is doing that uh you know left right, so let's do it guys. You see it didn't even go straight. It could just easily go straight and have more space, but it decided just to do it from here. Very amazing job. Wow. This is impressive, guys. I never saw that, never experienced that in my life. A car could do back out. You see the, like, how he is doing? Oh my goodness. Like a human, like how I'm gonna do it, like, you know? And it, wow. Whew. That was great. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, guys. So hopefully you like this video. And uh, if you did, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if I, if my cousin or I get the latest software again, I'll probably request him to do one more video in future. So you got the idea how FSD 13 works out in New York, in Long Island, suburb road. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for watching, guys. I love you so much. And have a wonderful, wonderful day.